Hello again from my front porch. I am actually here in Houston. Well, I don't know. Am I still in Houston, Texas? Um, I think you're in the Woodlands. I'm in the Woodlands, which is, I take it, not Houston? It's outside of Houston. That's outside. <laughs> I, like I know. I don't, but I'm here with my good friend, Debbie Richards. Nice to see you, Paul. Nice to see you, too. Now, Debbie and I, we go way back, mostly because we both go way back in ATD. <laughs> now, uh, and, and now, for those of you who have been asleep at the wheel, ATD being Association for Talent Development, but ATD has uh, the national level or technically international level organization, and then they have local chapters too. I was very involved with a local chapter in central Iowa, served on the board in different roles and continue to occasionally still volunteer as my, as my travel schedule and time permits. Uh, meanwhile, this one, this one's been a little bit active down here in Houston too. Tell me, what are you doing with the Houston chapter? So this year in 2020, I am again president of the chapter. Again? I was president of the chapter <laughs> in 2013, and I have been active in the chapter for many years, serving mm -hmm. a number of different roles. Mm -hmm. But I'm really excited about what we're doing in, in 2020. Um, we've got a great board. Um, we're doing some wonderful things. So for, for, for example, today we had a geographical uh, meeting. That's uh, meetings we have all over the city during lunch. We had a good group. And we talked about learning trends for 2020. And we actually took a step back and looked at what the predictions were from 2010. I pulled out an old um, article yeah. from 2010 from ATD. It was kind of funny, but they were How almost, close were they? They were actually oh, right on track oh, because- we Score one for of, ATD. Yeah, we, we talked about um, the workforce being diversified. Uh -huh. We talked about uh -huh. some of the things that are happening where people are working virtually from home and they're not necessarily working out of their offices, virtual teams. Wow, um, it was they very, did go that well. Yeah, wow. it was very interesting. And as a result of the meeting, you know, our, our ATD chapters were all volunteers. So we mm -hmm. all try to work together to help with professional development. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the new ATD uh, capabilities model um, we're doing a webinar this Thursday to introduce our chapter about it, but you can go out to the ATD website and find out some more information about that. Um, it's really a good model that really hits home with the way people need to look at their personal, their professional, mm -hmm. and their organizational capabilities. So I'd highly recommend for people to take a look at that. Um, TD.org. Yep, TD.org. Uh, capability model. Oh, there um, you go. Slash TD.org <laughs> slash capability model. So, um, ATD Houston is a wonderful chapter. We've got a great uh, group of people. Um, we are one of the largest chapters, mm -hmm. and um, we have a number well, of you know, programs. What do they say about everything in Texas is big, right? That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, we have a, a general meeting every month. We have a number of lunchtime meetings, webinars. And we do two uh, conferences. So we have a conference mm -hmm. coming up in April, April 23rd. What do you call that? That's our technology conference. Mm -hmm. And in the fall, we have our talent development conference, which is more mm -hmm. of a generalist conference. Mm -hmm. um, and we're always looking for people to participate, to help us. Um, if you have um, a great skill and you have something you want to talk about, you know, you can go out to our website. We've got requests for speakers. Hey, um, I know somebody who knows something <laughs> they could talk about. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So we're always looking for people to, to contribute. And and if you're remote, maybe you can do a webinar for us. So we're, we're always looking so for that. You do a lot of those too? We do. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of webinars. Well, actually, I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised because in addition to, I, I don't want to interrupt your, your bragging about the chapter because Houston is a great chapter, but I'm going to brag about just Debbie herself for a moment because you've got your own consulting gig and it's technology focused too. It is. It and is. So I shouldn't be surprised that the chapter is really on top of when it comes to technology when the person who is again the board president is so on top of technology herself. So let, tell, tell us a little bit about what your what's the, actually what's the name of your consulting business? My company is called Creative Interactive Ideas and I named that my company that because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. Yeah. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to do, do learning. I, <laughs> I, I might have done something else but yeah. I wanted to start my own company and and, and do some interesting projects. So I'm a technology consultant mm -hmm. and currently I focus on emerging technologies yeah. um, and I'm doing a lot of speaking these days on 
augmented reality and virtual reality. Wow. Um, I'll be talking at the upcoming ATD Technology Conference in Which San Jose. Which is not the same as yours in April. No. That's, no. that's a different one. This is ATD's conference. It's in San Jose. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm doing four sessions. Four. Um, and and uh, it's, not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not repeating the same one four no, times. No. You have to develop four separate yes, sessions. Yes. Wow. And, um, <laughs> I'm also leading a couple of dinners, so if you're coming to the AP <laughs> Technology Conference, look me up. Come out. Well, and have it, dinner sound, with it sounds like if they're night. going if if they're going to technology, they're going to encounter you in one way or another. They probably will. <laughs> um, and then I, I'll be speaking at some other conferences. I'm really also um, I'm also involved in the e-learning guild, mm -hmm. and they have a big technology conference called Reality 360, oh. which will be held uh, in March. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in um, technology, that's in conjunction with their Learning Solutions Conference. That'll be in Orlando, Florida. Wow. So it's a great conference to attend. Uh, so some other stuff going yeah, on, too. Well, so, so, so you know stuff. Yeah, I kind of know yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, you know some. And so if, 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 if a company wanted to hire somebody to come in and do consulting stuff who knows stuff, how would they get a hold of you? Where, where would they look up your information? Is there a website by chance? You know, the the uh, there the best place to get a hold of me is, is to go out to LinkedIn. I mean, I Ooh. have a website, but I'm going to tell you a secret, Paul. <laughs> I have not had time to update my uh, website in a wait, while. A technology person that yeah. can't find time to update their technology. Yeah, I, I, I need to hire somebody <laughs> to help me with that. Well, there you go. But I keep up on LinkedIn. Yep. I'm also out on Twitter. So, so But LinkedIn is a good way to connect with you. Yes. But, but I'm saying if they want to look up your services to see what you offer, is your website still the best place for that? It's or is probably, it? but you can also just drop me an email. Yeah. And, and she'll just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had somebody just recently uh, who had attended a session that I did last year at the ATD International Conference. Yeah. And and guess what? While I'm out in San Jose, I'm going to be going up to Sonoma. Yeah. They're doing a retreat up there. And they asked me to come mm -hmm. up and speak on, on immersive technology. Yeah, good so, for them. Yeah. Um, so I can do that, too. If yeah. you want just someone to come <laughs> in and, and, and speak on the technology. Well, and, and I, we, won't, we won't reveal names or anything. And, and, and I'm going to tell it so you don't. That way you don't get in trouble. And I'm not going to be able to tell it all entirely. So no one will be able to recognize anyway because I won't remember all the details. <laughs> but but. One of the projects she's currently working on, she was brought in apparently to originally do some work with their LMS imp implementation. The the company's expanding, acquired some other companies, merging it all together, and which led to a whole bunch of need for some other stuff. And she's been looped into all of those things too. So it's not like she's not like one of those consultants that has that that little niche and then that's all they do. Uh, she, she has niches, she has some strong areas she does, but she's flexible and she picks it up and she covers all kinds of things. But mostly technology related stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I think some of that comes from, um, I went to school and my degrees in computer science, I was a robotics programmer out of college, mm -hmm. and then I worked in IT for a number of years. So oh, really? I, I speak mm -hmm. IT. <laughs> um, so so you so you so when you go in and you're doing the external, it's because honestly, IT people are kind of like training people. When mm -hmm. an external consultant comes in, we're all, we're all like, Oh, oh, what are they going to do? They're going to met. They don't understand what we do. They don't. Even, but you go in and you talk their language. Yeah, and yeah. and I also bring donuts. <laughs> donuts, donuts, uh, donut, donuts. That's always good. It's always a good thing. So, are you speaking at ICE again this year too? I am. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking at ICE. I'm doing a session on augmented reality. Mm -hmm. We'll be have the the chapter leaders uh, day. That I'll be participating in that as yeah. well. And then I'm going to just try to do some learning while I'm out there because yeah. there's so much stuff, new stuff. And I'll probably spend a whole day, um, if you're going to the ATD conference, um, do like I do. I spend a whole day just going through the exhibit hall because mm -hmm. that's a great place to learn new things and to get information mm -hmm. um, as well. So it's going to be in Denver this year, yeah. too. I, I'll be speaking in this year, too. But unfortunately, if you're part of Chapter Leader Day, you won't get to see me. Because uh, I just found out today that I'm speaking at 10:45 on Sunday. Oh man! But but I, I I I hate to say this, but I didn't even know there were sessions. There are. <laughs> at and that I, time. You know, I'll tell you, I, but I, I did I'm a excited last about year. it. Yeah. I'm excited about it because because I, I I told a couple of people and like, oh man, I don't usually get in until Monday. Did you? Mm -hmm. I said I don't. And well, first of all, that's a mistake if yeah. you're if you're skipping Sunday because there are good sessions and Sunday. But. But I realized that the majority of people who are there at that time on Sunday are the international people. That's right. Because the international people come in early. And so I expect that my session is going to be dominated by a lot of international folks, which I'm excited about. I, I, think, think, that, I, I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. I was really surprised. I did a session last year on Sunday afternoon, 
and the session was packed. Oh, yeah. Well, because on Sunday, there's not as much competition for other things going on. That's right. And so if you're there and you're going to sessions, you have a, actually a smaller smaller list. And so, yeah, you, people show up. The very first year that I spoke there was also on a Sunday. And, and I was overwhelmed at the number of people <laughs> in my session. I was like, whoa, what are you all doing here? <laughs> um, but so anyway, uh, so uh, if, if, if we, we talked about how they get a hold of you. And, and I, I will have put on here the chapter website as well. Uh, is, is there anything else that you want to leave with our good people about how wonderful it is to be down here working with ATD in Houston? Well, I'll just say that Houston is a great community. Um, we like to network. We like to share and contribute. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if you have a need for somebody from Houston and, mm -hmm. and uh, in your chapter or in your organization, um, let us know and we'll put you in contact with some yeah. of those folks because... Our community is always willing to share resources and information and to be a part of the, the ATD world and the learning world as a whole. Yeah. So, helpful Houston. That's what we got here. And now I'm going to feed this one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're at this restaurant. I'm about to go in and have, would you say South African? South African food. South African. You know, uh, she was saying, as, as she was picking me up, we were going to go to dinner. Uh, She's like, well, do you do you have food private? And I was like, well, I don't really care much for seafood, although I'm trying to get more into it. Not really into a lot of real spicy things. You know, I'm thinking, you know, because stereotypically, I'm thinking, you know, we're in Texas. We're you know, probably going to wind up someplace where, you know, Tex-Mex Tex or, or barbecue or those kind of things. And so she goes, I know the South African place. I'm like, whoa, never had South African. This sounds exciting. Let's go find out. So, <laughs> so maybe Paul will share that with you on his yeah, next one. Yeah, yeah maybe next. I'll talk about that and give that review on my next one. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thank you, Debbie. It thank looks you. like it's getting darker out here, so we should probably wrap it up. Plus, I don't want, I don't want to be freezing out here because, you know, it's a whole, like, what, 50 degrees here? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. As, <laughs> as opposed to it's probably, like, 5 degrees back in Iowa. <laughs> all right. With that, I'll let you all go. We're going to go in and enjoy some great, tasty South African food. And thank you again to the, to the folks in, in Houston. And actually, kudos to the folks in Houston ATD for having the wisdom to reelect this lady as your president because she is dynamic you're absolutely incredible lady thank you so all. thanks for visiting with us on the front porch and i will see you all next time from my front porch